Hello everyone. In this video, Apostle Joshua Selman will be praying for us and also declaring over our lives. So let your heart be opened to receive. Stay connected as you listen to this video production. God bless you. There are territories that have patterns where those who work for things never enjoy it. Have you seen that pattern? You labor, there are people who have raised others. There are people in Nigeria. Almost every great name, they participated in their rising. And yet there is nothing for you. It's a spirit. It's a pattern. They sit over territories. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119, verses 130, The entrance of thy word is it life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Shadakata bakata katos, emprete ke parakatos katikata, ke prende skete la katos katiada, kaparis katiha. Just pray in the spirit in one minute. Sanakata bakatas koto prende kata, kileks ke ni matas koto prende katia. I sought for a man who would stand in the gap that I would not destroy them. Hallelujah. Let me finish because we are going to pray tonight. Worship team, get ready. You will sing that my song for me again. Ah, my spirit is fired up. Listen, you have to say enough is enough. If not for your sake, for your children on board. I've gone through the pain already. Let innocent people not go through this again. I've gone through the poverty. I went through the pain of idolatry. I went through the pain of polygamy. I went through the pain of delay. Go through it for their sake. That is the character of an intercessor. Shakatabakatos. Kebrente ketes koto baskatia. Embreketa. Rekete kotos koto ketea. Rebas koto shanakatabiyakata. Someone pray. You are engaging the spirit for the sake of those connected to you. Shadaka Tabakatos, a Prokotos Koto Pekete Lakapa. Listen to me. Hear me. Please listen to me. I'm teaching you the principles of prophetic intercession. There are families where the children will always bring shame to the parents, no matter the investment. It's not that they are bad. They find themselves going to fish trouble and return back with shame. You send them to go for studies, they return with shame. Wasting your money and your time. Remember what I taught you. He continued further. If and when unhindered, evil will always continue further. Hear me. Let me tell you this. I made up my mind and I made a covenant with God that everything I've suffered in my life, it ends with me. My children will never whether spiritual or physical they will never this is the character of an intercessor in one minute i'd like you to pray send prayer investments let it end with me let it end with me the poverty the failure the limitations let it end here thus far have you come no further shall you go Pray, 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 
Mateta Tosco to Pregeta, Embreke Tosco to Pregeta Legeta, Embreke Tosco to Pregeta Legeta, Embreke Tosco to Pregeta In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, please sit down. Please sit down. Just help those under the anointing. Now hear me please. Don't be distracted. We are praying. I want you right now as you are seated. In one minute. Study the patterns you have seen in your family. Just think about it honestly. Study the patterns you have seen from the region you come from. There are regions that have the spirit of anger. There are regions that have the spirit of disunity. There are regions that have the spirit of irresponsibility. Is the women that serve the men? There are regions that have helped them, please. Kabashka Nikatosia. Widespread laziness. Oh. 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 I can see with the eyes of the spirit and I see a mighty army rising yes I know they're rising in the thousands coming from afar coming from afar oh, oh, oh. Listen, hear me. Please listen carefully. Listen. It was from Zaria that the Lord sent me here. There is a spirit over that region. You start a walk, it does not last more than three years. Something must happen that brings you down. You may still be there, but you never maintain the texture of your glory. There are regions like that. I sought for a man who would stand in the gap. Woe betides a family with no intercessor. Woe betides a business with no intercessor. Don't you think because it's business you don't intercede? Woe betides a ministry that has sounds and mics and has beautiful skilled people but without intercessors. Woe betides a preacher without personal intercessors. No matter how anointed you are in this end times, if there are no men who can hold on the altar for you, you may not last. I tell you, the evil of the times will eat you up to your shame and surprise. Please sit down. Controlling powers. I've shared with you my vision that I was praying some years ago when the ceiling in my room just disappeared and I'm seeing this spirit and this being looking at me looking like Leviathan looking like, like, like a dinosaur with a tail that had its own life the eyes were big as a human eye and he said so you think you can bring god's people into abundance and i saw that spirit there are horns that stop the voices of men from rising to the nations 
there are many anointed people in this nation there are many gifted people in many families but there are spirits sitting on their glory rise up on your feet let the mantle of the intercessor the grace for prayer and supplication may it come upon you tonight every laziness in your prayer life whatever has fought your prayer life that you do not know how to hold on to the four horns of the altar and change things spiritually in the name of jesus i decree and declare fresh fire upon your altar and hear me whatever has continued because your intercessory ministry was absent i stand by the grace of god and we bring an end to it now hear me please i want you to leave this meeting tonight knowing that at the very least you are the intercessor for your family start there the dynamics of interceding for territories there are higher and deeper levels of spiritual intelligence there is a series on that and i will teach you but you can start with your family he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it destroy it not when you leave this place you can use this night use tomorrow and pray lock yourself collect the prayer request from your family members send them a text and say please forward me your prayer request put them before the god of your salvation and begin to engage the mysteries of the kingdom pray god reveals to you something about your pastor about what he wants to do in the church put it down pray and you watch what begins to happen when a people pray in the name of jesus christ and i decree and declare that as you commit to the ministry of intercession let the harvest of your intercession come to you number two let the intercessory ministry open you up to deep realms of mysteries in the spirit and number three let the ministry of the intercessor multiply your authority and the power of god at work in your life you will speak over your family and heaven will stamp it you will speak over regions and territories and it will be so even by the decree of the watchers in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ and i agree with you whatever burden you came here with every service is a miracle service there might be an official season but every service once there is faith and hunger it is a miracle service therefore i agree with you that everything you came here trusting god for i release my faith with you may it become your testimony this moment in the name of jesus christ oh, 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 I can see with the eyes of the Spirit and I see a mighty army rising yes I know they're rising in the thousands coming from afar coming from afar hey. oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh,
five minutes there is going to be a mighty impartation listen you can choose to spectate and watch others or you can cry to your maker and say lord if this is the moment let this be a destiny encounter someone lift up your voice and in the next one minute i don't know how you are going to cry to god now hear me please listen to me i must tell you this before we begin this impartation whether you're on the ground whether you're kneeling just listen hear me can i tell you the purity of heart and the desire to glorify jesus is the biggest attractor of the power of god the purity of heart and the desire to glorify jesus not a desire for fame not a desire for competition let me have it too so i can prophesy like the rest let me have it too so no one will mock me the agenda of god is bigger than self-aggrandizement the purity of heart i repeat and the desire to see jesus glorified he said, nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let every man that named the name of Christ depart from iniquity. It says, but in a great house, there are vessels of gold and silver, of wood and clay. Some vessels are unto honor and some vessels are unto dishonor. It says, if a man will purge himself, that man will be a vessel unto honor meat for the master's use i want you to pray one prayer lord purify my heart purify my heart edit my motives take away the secret desire for competition the secret desire to outshine the secret desire to trample on others the secret desire to be the only celebrity carrying on power lord take it out of my life purify my motive someone pray someone pray someone pray Hallelujah. Now, the power of God is coming. I want you to start bringing the people outside. I'm just seeing angelic manifestations right now. And I'm about to speak. There is an opening of the gates. Please, whether you are an usher or not, I want you to just bring those under the anointing here now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing the spirit of revelation, access to light, the mysteries of the kingdom. Where are they? Let it come upon you like the dew of Hamon. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Receive that mantle. Take that grace. I release you. Hold them please so they don't enjoy themselves. Receive that grace. I empower you by that mantle. The eyes that see, the ears that hear, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, fire upon your life. Let your eyes be washed with eyes out, that you may see. 
Shalagata bekata bekata praska tekash. Kran bekata beretos koto vasiaka. Now I'm praying. Please, I want you to listen. Bring them out. There are people here. One of the end time mantles that is going to be restored to the church is authentic healing ministry. The healing ministry with power that heals. And I sense that there are people here. Some of you have been praying and fasting. Please bring them out. I stretch my hands. That mantle to heal. Take the healing power of Jesus to the nations. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Men and women like Catherine Pullman. Men and women like every Semple McPherson. We reignite that apostolic fire, that revival to heal the sick, to heal the sick, to heal the sick, to heal the sick. Hallelujah. Now hear me. This is a prophetic ministry. Your father is a prophet. And there are many of you who are connected to this vision. But that prophetic mantle has been hovering around you. But it has not landed in your life. I want to release that grace. I believe there are people here who will begin to walk in strange levels of the prophetic. Can I release that mantle upon you? Father, I don't know where they are in this crowd and watching. Everyone called into the prophetic office, the prophetic ministry. I stretch my hands right now. Receive that grace now. Take that abakataka take that grace now. Men and women, drink of the prophetic fountain. Help this lady, please. Drink of the prophetic fountain. Please help Ethel. In the name of Jesus, I stir up that prophetic grace. I stir up that prophetic grace. Spring up all wells. Spring up all prophetic wells. Spring up all prophetic wells. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb seated on the throne, mountains bow down, every ocean roll. The King of Kings, we will praise Adonai from the rising of the sun to the end of every day. Praise Adonai, all the nations of the earth. Is there a name like Diolu? Diolu, is it Diolu or something? Who is Diolu? Come. Shalis Kareko Sabranda Katoshka Vredi Emele. What do you do, sir? You are a pastor. I want to pray for you because the Lord is saying the limitation you have seen in ministry that is about to take it away as a reproach. Take that reproach away. I pray for you, sir. I do not know you, but in the name of Jesus, may the hand of God rest upon you. Take that grace right now. A new season by the Spirit of the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Who is... Um, I'm hearing my name. 
You are my namesake, Joshua. Please make sure you don't run. Let's, we have just a few minutes. I'm, I'm working on extra time. So make sure you don't tell lies. Just come and stand here. You will receive. Bring the person who shouts right now. A loud shout. Loud shout. You are Joshua. I want to pray for you. What is your name, my friend? Help this boy. Huh? What's his name? This gentleman. Your name is Joshua. Help this guy. I declare that the yoke of witchcraft. And I'm, as I'm praying for him, I'm praying for someone. Everything that has tied your life and limited you from advancing. Every altar. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I'm seeing fire. Help this guy. Please help him so he doesn't reach up people. I decree and declare. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. I set those altars on fire. I set look at this guy. I set those altars on fire. Hallelujah. Is there a name like Demola? Demola. You are wearing white. Demola. Is there someone like that? Demola. Who is that? What is your name? What do you do? I want to pray for you. Um, you, are, you are destined for greatness. But I'm seeing a serious limitation on your life. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Help him. Be delivered right now. There is a gentleman here. You do Uber. Is it Uber or Bolt? Who is that person? I'm seeing somebody driving a car and the Lord is saying I should pray for the person because there is an anointing that is coming. You do uh, this, um, or what they call it now. Is there a gentleman like that? Who is that? That's what you do? No, no, no. I'm please make sure is, is that what you do because one of you i'm seeing that you are going into real estate god is going to bring somebody it will start just by helping you somebody saying sell something and yet that's how god will help you and establish you in your destiny i stretch my hands may the grace that lifts and help men rise may that anointing come upon you in the name of jesus christ you will go and prosper by the power of the holy spirit I'm seeing a lady here, your elder sister is yet to have a child. Your elder sister is yet to have a child. This is what the Lord is revealing to me. Who is that person? Please come. The season has come. Your elder sister, where is she? In United Kingdom. Is that where she is? Where is she? That's what I'm saying. The Lord is saying her, her time has come. In the name of, if she's following or she, wherever she is, in the name of Jesus, we agree. We don't care what the medical situation is. If the Lord has spoken, an anointing is coming upon you for our own sake. Receive that grace now. Receive that anointing right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I use her as a point of contact. That everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Here at this convention, we decree and declare, may the God of all possibilities visit them. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, I want you two things, two supernatural miracles you are trusting God for. We release our faith under this corporate anointing. Open your mouth and begin to make that demand. And watch the God of all possibilities. Two impossible situations. Go ahead and pray. You just obey instructions. In the name of Jesus Christ, someone is praying. 
What is that that has mocked God in your life? You're trusting God to overturn. Is it a financial situation, a marital situation, an academic situation, a health situation? We stand by the privilege of priesthood and the prophetic, releasing our faith with you. Make that petition unto God. He said, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it. He says to be anxious for nothing, but that in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, he said, let your request be made known unto God. Pray. Ask the God of all possibilities. Visit me in this area. Change my story in this area. Wipe my tears. Give me a testimony in the name of Jesus. Give me a testimony. Visit my father. Visit my mother. Visit my wife, my husband, my children. Visit my family. Visit my ministry, my business. Pray. One more minute to are praying. In Jesus name we pray In Jesus name we pray I shared with you yesterday On the school of faith Ezekiel 37 He said son of man Can these bones live again And he said only thou knowest And he said prophesy let me speak over your life the prophetic can be revelatory but the prophetic can be creative it can make what has no business happening to happen in the name of Jesus I stand in partnership with the grace upon the prophet of God in this house to declare over someone every door that has refused to open Malice from this moment forward, we declare that door open now. Shout a loud amen. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. In the name of Jesus. Let me command restoration. He said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. And he said, where fell it? There are many people who are in all kinds of situations in need of restoration by the power of the highest. I speak to someone between now and the end of March. I speak prophetically. Let there be supernatural restoration. Supernatural restoration. Supernatural restoration. Number three, let me pray for you. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. But that was not his story. The Bible says the mother cursed him as a result of her pain. Jabez. But he got to a point where he said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast. I want to pray for someone. Whatever has limited you in the name that is above all names, be enlarged right now. Be enlarged right now. I prophesy increase. Expand to the north. Expand to the east. Expand to the south. Expand to the west. In the name of Jesus. A man called Job, who was once the richest man in the east. The Bible says that man went down from grace to grass until he became an object of mockery. But in Job chapter 42 and verse 10, the Bible says, And God turned again the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And he said, All his former acquaintances who had left him, they now began to return. And the Bible says, Everyone brought gifts and a piece of money. I declare whoever has left you, by reason of the tragedies that have come upon your life, I compel them to return with gifts. I compel them to return with favor I compel them to return with favor I compel them to return with favor two more impartations and we're done Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 
and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty let me declare there is a grace for favor it compels men and systems to walk towards your progress wherever you are I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost let the grace for favor rest on you let the grace of favor rest on your business rest on your ministry rest on your family in the name of Jesus finally I want to pray for you the Bible says and the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death I want to rebuke the ugly spirit of untimely death that is sweeping from nation to nation destroying great lives and great potentials I hope you know that death is beyond the phenomenon. Death is a spirit. According to Revelation, the rider upon the pale horse holding a pair of balances on his hand and his name is death. Death is a spirit. More than just a natural occurrence. And that spirit like all other spirits can answer to the name of Jesus. Therefore I declare it says to deliver them who have been appointed unto death anyone here and any family that the devil is already programming that you will not see the end of 2023 anyone here that in the realm of the spirit it is almost like a done deal i declare in the name of jesus and by the power that raised christ from the dead the fullness of your days you will fulfill the fullness of your days you will fulfill you will not die not by the sword not by accident not by plane crash not by kidnapping not by the activity of wicked men the lord preserves your going in the lord preserves your coming out in the name of jesus